okay, but the lady sitting with you said something about somebody who sponsored a girl to school. One thing I will want to hint there is this. It is painful for a man to invest such huge investments on a girl. And at the end of the day, it's disappointment he met. I know of a relationship that the guy assisted the girl in school till she rounded off her academics, engaged her, rented an apartment for her, based on the fact that the relationship is a distant one. Mm. And the end of the, at the end of the day, she got pregnant for somebody she introduced the guy to as her family. Okay, no, as, no, okay. she got pregnant for somebody she introduced to the guy as her family relative. I'm sure he told the guy that that's the cousin. Mm. So it's painful the guy had wanted to kill this girl, but this very matter we're talking about is so serious. Benga, you got all of that. The guy really invested. At the end of the day, the girl got married to the cousin or got pregnant for the cousin. <laughs> it's a cousin. <laughs> well, seriously, I don't have to move to But I, I think there are always signs, except if we don't want to see it. You Thank know you. it when someone is real with you, especially when you're faithful. Mm. You will know, even on platonic grounds, if yes. someone is not being truthful to you, mm. you will know. Mm. Yeah. So sometimes, I don't know, is it that we get too carried away or we just want to guide our heart and feel we can, I can make this work, I can make it work. Uche. I mean, when you see the signs, I like, mm. Love is blind. Marriage is the eye opener. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. Love is not my problem. Yeah. You see, how can you, how can you say love is blind? How? <laughs> No, how now? I don't get it. These days, love is wearing spectacles. Less, double less. All right, Benga, let us With Google that, Maps, sat now to navigate. With GPS and everything. <laughs> right, Benga, let us talk about school now. It's, uh, I know from Mondays now, schools are resuming. Which uh, Monday? Since last <laughs> week. <laughs> you know, a lot of people are now making calls, you know. School fees matter. That's part of love. We have money. <laughs> about this thing because right now this is September and there have been calls and many calls a lot of people thinking you know they are you know chin pillowed on their palm you know wondering how they will pay school fees for one two three four five I even overheard someone saying that this is where you pay more because this is the time where you buy yes. books time. yes so yes, uniform know, this, this is a new session <laughs> new books New things. Especially when they have to move from primary to secondary. Secondary, of course. Yeah, or so, nursery to primary. So I want to congratulate every parent out there <laughs> <laughs> that your investment will not be in vain. Amen. 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 I, want to, I mean, I mean, for you to even be paying school fees, I mean, uh, uh, we, we need to thank God for that. You know, mm -hmm. uh, we have so many. Uh, uh, presently, um, globally, we have the highest number of. Um, children out of school. Are you aware? Um, mm -hmm. 11 point something million now. That's at the last count. Yeah, mm -mm. yeah, yeah. And that, that's, a big, that's a big problem for me, personally. Mm -hmm. uh, school fees, um, what I will say about school fees is that uh, uh, make sure you don't have hypertension because of school fees. Mm -hmm. And don't lose your home because of school fees. Mm -hmm. uh, I addressed the case some a few weeks back. Um, where the husband and wife were, you know, back and forth. No, you have to retain him there. He must be retained in the school. And the, the, the wife, uh, the husband, they say, no, you have to take it, uh, take the boy away from the school. And they have one boy, one girl. And um, the girl is still in primary school. The boy, the boy is moving to GS1. And um, they say, okay, there are two, I'm sorry, the boy is in GS, GS1, going to GS2. And like, no, I have to move him because now, income has dropped in the business that I'm doing. Mm. So we have to, you know, adjust the structure. Uh, you know, one of our presidential aspirants has been shouting restructure, restructure. So maybe it's time for some families to restructure <laughs> their lifestyle. Yeah. You understand? For me, I, I, and I told the wife, I said, mom, you have to reason with your husband. Yeah, you have to reason with your husband. You see, Justin, in other climes, you know, Private school is not that popular. Mm. Private school is not that. There is no fame for private school. Yeah. It's only here that want to kill us every because of private school. Two million naira for a crutch in Lagos. Mm. Two million naira. Uche. For a child that is yet to talk. Uche. Two two million. Two yeah. hundred thousand in how many places? Two, two, two million. In, in two two million naira. Just crush alone. For 
for a crutch, a crutch. Mm -hmm. The day I saw, I, I, I know if he sleep. It be like say I take video ten. Mm -hmm. I know if he sleep that day. Not be saying I go pay the money, but I'm like, excuse me, how to learn what? Is it that when I pay that two million, that boy will start working that day, talking that day, and start making money that day? So I think there's something wrong fundamentally with our educational system. Mm -hmm. Because most of our leaders who are just keeping quiet up there today, many of them went to, private, to public schools. Yeah. So what went wrong? For me, I think parents should sit down and look at their income critically. Check what is coming in before they, they just... If you are paying... For example, if you are paying four million era on a child now in secondary school, yeah. by the time he wants to go to university, don't expect him to okay. go and choose a school where you are going to be paying five hundred thousand. Mm. No way. You want to upgrade? Yes or no? Yeah. You know the worst part. By the time he finished school, <coughs> how much salary do you think that boy will be looking at to be any per month? Mm -hmm. A boy who is exposed to millions already. Scenario, Half a billion per, run, or per, per month, you know. But when they are looking at all of this, you know, I, I don't know. Is it an issue of not planning? Let, let's just give a regular scenario, you not know, as if um, the school fees changed or maybe uh, income dropped. Mm. But you find out that some some people. Let us help some people here. You know, most September they always fall back to the issue of um, aha, am I going to pay school fees? Is there a thing of not knowing how to plan? you know, for these school fees or they are just being negligent because of course it's a reality that will not change. The fact is that you'd always pay these fees at this particular time. How would you advise them, you know, um, parents? Uh, what are the tips you can give to them, you know, so they can actually plan ahead, you know, before the whole school fees just um, stay in them. In just think, <clears throat> with all due respect, it's as if I cannot counsel or give yeah. them tips. But, uh, but that's not what they need. Okay, what do they need? Many parents need conk. <laughs> Mm. In fact, many parents need to be spanked the way they spank their children. Mm. Okay. Let me give you a say. You know quite all right. You see, Justin, do you know the... See, let me take you higher. After September, do you know the next thing? Christmas. What's the next thing? New Year. House rent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. See, you know... This bill is waiting for you. Mm. Okay, before we go there, the first thing is this. Must I take my children to the same school with Justin's children? No. no. Because we are in the same club in church, because we belong to the same mosque, because we are from the same hometown, does that mean we should do the same thing? Mm. Doesn't follow. Back to competition. You want to show, you want to, that we too, we are, uh, no. There is a school in GRA, some five years ago, their school fees is about 1.5 million, 1.2 million per term. And somebody put two children there. And uh, the total income of these two, the husband and the wife, is unpredictable. Because there is no there is no fixed amount. You can't say this this how much is coming. Mm. Yeah. And all manner of embarrassment on them from time to time. Just because you want to belong to a particular class. And I, I like to say this to people. You are not in anybody's class. You are in your own yeah. class. Mm. You don't belong to don't tell me you are belo you belong to all the people that you, you did primary six together, are you the mm. same today? Did you enter the same university at the same time? Mm -hmm. did, no, you are your own class. So, parents need, to, they need to sit down and talk to themselves. Why am I, yes, I agree you want to give your children the good best. education, mm -hmm. but Justin, yesterday I was, I was speaking somewhere and one of the things I said is that, you know the reason why our society is bodysome? You know what I mean? Yes. As you are, mm -hmm. you are in Lagos. 
I don't know how many relatives, how many cousins are relying on you mm. down the line to your village. Mm. Justin, I don't know. But me, I know. Mm -hmm. But guess what? I sat down and I analyzed this thing. And I realized that the reason why people are calling you every time for this, for that, is because there is no social security system in place. Mm -hmm. So instead of Nigerians to come together and shout at the government to put normal things in place, because by the time you realize the money you are burning on fuel for your generator, eh? That has paid the school fees. Mm. That has paid house rent. Go and sit down and calculate how much you are spending on generator. Not business, oh. not business, not business Just generator, so not this. Just your house. Mm. Come and give me feedback. But yet, election is coming. These same parents, you know, somebody was saying this is poverty that make people to go and collect four thousand naira in the kitty during the election. And I said I disagree. Because some of those women you saw collecting 4,000 naira, it's not new, it's on, it's on, it's on BBC. It's on BBC recorded it, it's everywhere. So it's not, you know, mm -hmm. most of those women, they are landladies. Are you aware? Mm -hmm. They are landladies. Some of them, their children are scattered abroad who send money to them. If the money they earn from their, they collect from their children every month, they don't finish it. Mm -hmm. So it's not about they are hungry. I don't believe in so much infrastructure. It may be, it, it's existing, but I don't believe, it. that's not the cause of now, mentality. mentality. An average Nigerian believe in the mindset that I have a right to collect something from you. Mm. Mm. Entitlement. Entitlement mindset. True. So that's where it starts from. And we need to go and deal with that foundation. So by the time you calculate how much this cousin calls you, this cousin calls you, your salary don't finish now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but if the, the things are normal, for example, if our public schools are functioning properly, Justin, a governor is owing teachers and civil servants 11 month salary in Nigeria. But yesterday, he purchased presidential form for President Buhari, 45 million naira. Excuse me. And citizens are watching. That's the tragedy of an African man. You are owing. So, what does that tell me? It, 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 it's either you that you are being owed, you are making money from somewhere through corruption somewhere. Yeah. Or you are just like a desica, you don't care about what goes on in your country. You are not patriotic. That's my conclusion. I may be wrong. Mm. But that's my observation, that's my view. So when you sit down, you and your wife or you and your husband, mm. and if you are a single parent, mm. sit down. Bring out your income paper. What are the priorities? House rent, food, all that, education for the kids. Then, can I afford this school? Can I shock you? There are many schools in this Lagos. As expensive as we think Lagos is, there are many schools that they are not expensive and they have quality yeah. education. True. They have quality standard. True. Trust me. They have solid in this Lagos. So, I will go back to due diligence. Do your due diligence. For example, I want to take my child to a school. The number one thing, you see, parents, okay, let me repent. Let me give them this tip. Parents, please, before you choose any school for your child, what dream, what vision do you have for that child? Mm -hmm. For example, I have a mentor. He, he discovered that the daughter and the son love mathematics. Anything that has to do with mathematics calculation, you know, they, and guess what? He looked for the best school that, when it comes to mathematics, they are one of the top five in the country. He looked for them, he looked for that school, and put the child there, and said, you know what? I'm going to be denying myself in this area of my own life, so as to augment, balance the school fees of this children in this area because this is my dream and my dream also align with their dreams. Okay. He has sat down with them. What do you want to become? What would you like to do? So their dreams align with each other. So you will need this area to really solidify your foundation. Mm. The way primary health care is important in our health system, same way primary school is important. Mm -hmm. And I have to give it to Lagos State Government. Mm. 
for that free education they provide the primary the, at the primary level it is key mm -hmm. it is key, Very key yeah. i may spend heavy money on the foundation because the first seven years of your child is is called the formation formative stage mm -hmm. okay. the first seven years that you you formed the life of that boy anything that you put in the subconscious mind of that boy or that girl remains forever All right, that's the cpu mm. We are done, we are out of time, but I want you to respond to this lady. Okay. <clears throat> it was the previous um, uh, talk. Uh, this love and money. Yes, child. just very quickly, so a round off. Okay. Can a lady who is wealthy be permitted to ask for a man's hand in marriage and become the breadwinner of the home, taking over the man's responsibility? Mm. Hmm? <laughs> I need to go into the spirit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Jokes apart, yes. there is nothing wrong in you showing a green light to a man you love, even though he doesn't have much as you have. Mm -hmm. But you have to be sure that this man will not mess you up in the future. Mm -hmm. The KPI or the the indices that you are going to now you are going to use to know that he will not mess you up i cannot provide you now okay i can provide you later but now i, I'm not, I trust me you need to be sure that's what i'm going to tell you you need to there's nothing wrong in you showing green light mm. it's different from you go asking for mm -hmm. uh, asking for 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 his hand in marriage mm. there are two different things there's mm. nothing wrong if you really love him and you also know that he loves you. Mm -hmm. Because love is not one-way traffic, like what we are having these days. Mm -hmm. No, love is not one-way traffic. It's two sides. I have to love you, you have to love me back. Do you understand? That. If that one is not there, please. So finally, on this issue of school fees, yes, please. In 30 seconds. don't have hypertension. Don't go borrow money. Because you know why? Parents, they, like you said, they, they forget that School fees is coming. Mm. They'll be doing parties. Mm. Ashoy B syndrome. Mm. I don't have anything against Ashoy Asho B. It's all my own personal issue, please. Okay. <laughs> Ashoy B, that is more than 3,000, 5,000. I don't buy. Forgive me. So I'm saying, except that person is very, very special to me. Mm. Uh -huh. So I'm saying, you need to understand, plan, get your diary and plan. In mm -hmm. September, this is how much we are going to be spending. So reduce your expenditure in other areas. Yes. And concentrate on what you want to. And when you get to that school, uh, before you go to that school, what is your dream? What is the dream of that right, child? Benga, especially secondary school. You need Thank to do you. that. All Thank right, you very Jim. much. Thank you so much, Agbenga Ademo Jimmy, certified uh, life coach. And together, we're looking at um, love without money, or love with money, whichever works. <laughs> you know, and of course, back to school of issues and how to solve that. Thank you so much. Benga. Thank you very much. Thank you so much once again. And of course, to you out there who sat back to enjoy the show. We'll do this tomorrow where we'll be looking at entertainment. So, do have a wonderful Thursday. I'm Uche Uye Bye for now. And I'm Justin. Mm -hmm.